build is past the Toyota with the retro strength. I did it. I think that might be the property owner. Quite nice back here in the back without all the dust going everywhere. Yeah, isn't it? So, real quick for those of you who aren't aware, the Daniel Boone Back Country by which we are on is a series of historical county roads. Um, they're just a mix of pavement, gravel, and then unmaintained. Uh, many of them run through you know, private property, so essentially there's an easement for the road through people's property. So we want to make sure that we always stay on the correct path, don't venture off of it, be respectful uh, when we're anytime around here. Does anybody want to air down? I don't think we're going to need to, but would anybody like for me to stop momentarily so they can air down? Kevin, I'm running at 30. Should I be okay? I'm at 45. You should be fine. We start fine, we're having problems, we will stop, but I say we give it a try to see how we're doing. It's going to be a little more puffy for those of us who are aired up, so just go a little slower. Alright folks, down here there's a sign to the TV on it. I'm going to make a wide left hand turn, you'll see why there's some pretty big ruts over here. Once you get past the sign, momentarily stop and put it in four wheel drive low range. Hey Kevin, this is one of the signs that the cut can't pay for. Back in the day, yeah, I believe. I, I don't know if it was a joint spending project or if it was just us, but yeah, it's one of the signs we put in. It was just us. Yeah, as we were watching something on YouTube the other day in the Ohio Highwood, and you can see some of the Highwood Road signs that had the Ohio River with four wheelers. Uh, signs on them, that was pretty cool. That's awesome. It was kind of five days of something from Flex Rocks and Rollovers on YouTube. Yep, channel, mm -hmm. yep. Is it a 24 hour hell and back? It was not that one. It was like five days of something, and, and they went to Harvard, and then they drove down the cat, and then they went to Windrock. Roger that. They know what you're talking about, the 24 hours one. It was super cool to see the Ohio River four hour time. Great. That creek trail that they got lost on, they couldn't find their way out. I've been to the end. Never ever go to the end. There is a somebody built a bridge in its private property. And he was not happy to see us. I almost feel like we should be eating lunch right about now. It's your normal lunch time at school, right? That knife has lunch right here a lot of times on some of these trips. They have it all, yep. So as you come down this section where I'm out here in the front, there's a little few little rocks and things. I don't think anybody's going to have any problems with it, but just go nice and slow, leave some space between you and the vehicle in front of you. Did they clean it up down here a little bit? Yeah, they did. Uh, uh, Quite an extensive maintenance to it uh, in the last two months or so, Mark. Is that about right? Yeah, it's about right. No, but on the hill, but you'll notice that the big first big what usually is a mud hole with a pretty steep rise. They kind of cut the little bit of the top off of it and drained the mud hole.
and others. If you don't see anybody behind, just stop and wait a minute. If you're still on shipment, give a call back. We'll bring back at least 98% of you. <laughs>
that I remember had like cabins or something that you could rent. I could camp around with cabins and whatnot. We went through it. Pumpkin Hollow has that at the well, entrance, right? it, depending on which way you're, you're running it. There's a few other cabins being developed in various places as well along the byway. Tails is through the waterfall. 